Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cupquake and we are continuing The Wolf Among Us. We are still on um, episode one. Is that someone? Uh-oh. What's going on? We're still barely getting started. Uh, whose coat is that? And why did Snow... Why is she so worried about it? <clears throat> Let's look at it. Security jacket. <gasps> oh, dang. You knew this girl? Oh, man. Is, she's not a Mundy, right? Oh man. I thought I knew a working girl. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean I'm a working. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's something in her mouth. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. Great. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. All right, let's take that... L let's see. Who found her? What happened? Did you see anyone? Did you see anyone? So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us... Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. Uh -oh. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. All right. All right. Poor thing. I wonder who she was. Let's take this, or examine the mouth. I was not expecting is... that. All right, let's, wait, what is this? Let's take this, a mouth, remove item. It's. Oh, it's her ribbon. ribbon with a ring. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. A moon? All right, we got the ring. Let's examine her neck. Strange God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Man, um, I guess we can just examine the she head. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind yeah. Of monster would do this? I wonder if there's a plot twist. Was it me? I was sleeping. I am a wolf. Oh, there's blood. Let's go follow the blood. Okay, let's cover her head back up. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. All right, I'm gonna go check out this blood. Go look at this blood trail. Um, should I touch it? I guess, I guess I can touch it. Blood, drops of blood. Why do you- say it's been here an hour maybe? Alright, so let's. Oh, look, there's blood right up here. There's something on the floor. S let's see. Let's grab this scrap of fabric on the floor. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Alright, let's look at this. Blood. Yep, more blood. <laughs> Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail. the trail I found earlier. 
I guess I can touch it. I don't know. <laughs> um. Sharp enough. Let's see. Let's examine the trash can. Did they throw anything away in the trash can? Uh, Just some loose trash. All right. So. Looks like we got a blood trail, still pretty fresh, and a piece of cloth. Is there a kit where I can, um, possibly get some DNA or something? Let's go check around back. I don't know if there's anything, but, well, I mean, I guess I could just go talk to her. Let's go show her the scrap of clothing. Oh, I'm comparing the fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. All right. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. Someone brought her here. This happened. This is a message. It's a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about the placement this of the head, the victim herself? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. Kay. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Okay. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Who's Cole Crane? is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going Don't to tell him. Anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you need to I know do. You don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, She appreciates my support. It's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. All right. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. All right. So wait, am I taking her head? I'm doing it. Ugh. Just gonna carry it around. The long goodbye. Achievement unlocked. Who the heck are these people? What are you, blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. Okay. You just walk in. Must I don't nice have time for this. Sharon. I work do here. The fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Oh God. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. God, everyone hates me. Oh great. Oh, it's. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasant what? business, Snow. No. I brought you this news as soon as no I could. No one's to blame. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? No one's to blame. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh. Is that how you see things? Sheriff, he didn't you are the one charged that. with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Seriously? Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you uh, two know what the hell you're could doing. Be right now, I have half a mind to fire the, the woodsman. Boat. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? Maybe. Nothing certain yet. 
Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Okay. No. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> Great. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. What the heck? Do your job. You're worried Sarah. about bottles of we'll wine find and stuff. Who um, can. Fuck you. You would have just pissed him off more. Did I not say right. it? Oh, okay. Well, that's Fuck yeah. Well, all right. Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Well, Crane can soak it. Never mind. Soak away. Crane is an asshole. He gets a morning massage. What's the wine about? What's the wine about? To a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Oh. Is... is he gone? Oh. Yes, thankfully. What's this? Oh! He took the bottle! He's drunk! Buffkin! Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. That's so cute. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then Buffkin. don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. I like him. He's so cute. Oh. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm great. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Oh, he's so cute, little Buffkin. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Sweet, this place is awesome looking. You know the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Ooh. I really have to get this the mirror on the wall? squared away, but let me know if you need anything. All right, so I could have sworn when Hi, looking at the tree, I saw, White, yep, someone's story. hanging there. Why is someone Hi, hanging yes, over there? I'm just calling to let you know that um, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up. Is that a normal thing? And he's coming in early for his let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the lamp. Let's look at it. Is there going to be a genie? I want to touch it. Pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Is the genie freed? I want to touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna rub it. Genie. Worth a try. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at the mirror. Magical mirror. I can talk to it. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. <laughs> you know the rule. How cool! I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Okay, mirror, mirror, on mirror, the wall. <laughs> if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from shooting <laughs> a hole in you. Don't be so mean! There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, Woodsman Snow, I don't know her name. I want to know Buffkin. Who is Buffkin? I don't know her name. I don't know her name. I want to... Uh, uh, uh. Where's Buffkin from? I'll do... I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. All right, let's look. What's a Buffkin? Show me Buffkin. I want to see all the fables. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Uh -huh. <sighs> Let's see snow. Show me snow white. 
That's her over there. Not much of a request. <laughs> She's in this very room. All right, let's see the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Oh. Where is he? All drunk. What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. All right, let's exit this. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. All right. There's Buffkin. Oh. Where is he well, from? I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Do they know there's someone Thank hanging back there? Is that part of the decor? Hmm. All right, we got the books. Um, let's go check out the books. See what other fable things. Ooh, what's this? A tarot deck. Let's go look at this. He's into cards, tarot cards. Tarot cards. Tarot. Yeah, brought him back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before that, or what he did to get them. Okay, let, can I pick him up? I'm gonna use him. I've never used tarot cards before. I guess it comes in all forms. All right, can I use them again? What's next? Ooh. <gasps> well, that's uh, that's a little. Let's see the next one. What is this? Damn. Someone. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? Someone's gonna get backstabbed. I kept it. All right, so I got a tarot card. Um, let's go check out those books with Buffkin and Snow. Let me, oh, let's go over here. Let's check out, this one looks pretty. Examine the we'll Book of Fables. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. All right. Ooh, look, it's little, it's red. There's the, oh, how cool, there's everyone. Let's see, let's examine Snow. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. And who are these? Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> Were they evil or something? Um, let's look at me. Hmm. Me. And let's look at the woodsman. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. His cool axe. Uh, Little Red Red and Hood. Two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. All right, here's Beauty. Beauty, happier days. Aw, poor thing. And Beast. And her man, Beast. And the piggies! Hi. The piggies, the piggies! Colin and his brothers. Um, who are these guys? I've seen this before. Oh, it's the symbol on the, the ring! On the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Ooh. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay, awesome! Guess we're reading some books! Let's go ahead and check out this book of symbols. Ooh, there's a tree. Ah! Oh, this is so cool! I like it! I like it a lot! Alright, so... Here is what is this? Let's look at this symbol. Great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Oh, yeah, I like him. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad. Hmm. He probably wrote this in himself. All right, um, let's go to the left. Here's his axe, the symbol. I don't. This looks familiar. No, what is it? Yes, from the axe of the woodsman, a druid. Blessing, actually, someone blessed that thing. 
I only translate. <laughs> That's a really cool symbol. Um, let's see. Elvish text. It says brickle bit in an older bit. elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit go. <laughs> oh, brickle bit. I want to say it. I want to say it to the pig. Brickle bit. Um, oh, is this the... No, let's look at this one. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Ooh, the Frog Prince. Quite who I'm looking for. All right, so we're probably going to have to remember these symbols. They may be important to us later. So that's as far as we can go. Let's go to the right. And see what we can hear. It is the ring, but I want to take a look at it after. Okay, it's the last thing I can see. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlyro. I'll go look it up. Alerlyro. Alerlyro. That means every kind of fur in German. Alerlyro. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also skin. known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Buffkin. We don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story Let's of see. Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. Okay. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter. Oh. Faith. Well, that's gross. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey. That would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. I've never heard this story before. Ass skin. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Deceased donkey skin girl. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Okay, we know her name. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. All right. You think he did it? He's our first suspect. We have to notify him. Can't rule him out. We have to no, notify him. We don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Her faces. Mm. Mm. I like her. I like her character design. Um, okay. So I'm going to examine this book one more time because I wonder if there was anything to the right that I missed. Um... Oh, okay. See, this is where I stopped. Uh, we have the Headless Horseman. Is this, uh... Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane! Scared shit. That's the... What's that? That's the guy. The boss. His finest moment. Ichabod Crane. I don't understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Ooh. All right. So, here's the ass skin. <laughs> here's the ass skin, girl. Um, let's see, who is this guy here? I haven't seen Badger. Badger. He likes his privacy, I think. Badger. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. And Toad. Nice hat. All right, cool. So, um, is there any more books for me to examine? Let's see, can I examine these? I think we've already got the the books. Now where do I go? We've already done the symbols. Is there anything else for me to examine around here? So let's do another lap around. I don't have the hit points on. Oh, here. We can we can talk to her. What is this? Use with tarot card. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. Tarot. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. 
Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, <laughs> blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Askin. Um. Prince Lawrence, Faith. Uh, let's do Prince Lawrence. The prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Is he dead? <gasps> he's dead! What's he been doing? It looks like he's Where is dead. Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right, in a bit. Let's see Faith. Show me, show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for oh. you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, really. It's simply the way this has to be. Huh, what about her father? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. All right, so these lips are sealed no, no. exactly what Anything she what said. Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Let's go check out her husband. I have a feeling phone. he's dead. Um, oh, the phone green. Sorry. I, I think it that. up. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Great. Bigby, it's me, Doug. You there? Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What? Uh oh! <gasps> He's gonna kill the toad what and his family. Say, something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell, but he could be in trouble, and we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, Toad. Whenever you're ready. That's important. I feel like we should go there now. Um, let's go out after you, Miss Snow. Whoever's going through his the stuff. Was, there? was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Still blood right there on the steps. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, we should go maybe check up on Toad. Can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Let's go help Toad. Well, where to first? Toad. Toad, because he has a family. Big, big shit. Ooh. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to Toad's apartment. Toad's apartment! Toad sounds like he needs help right he now. He does seem like check in on Prince he Lawrence. needs help. The glass okay. slipper shoes. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Yeah, it seemed like uh, the other guy, Prince Lawrence, was probably dead. We got an achievement, the frog or the prince achievement. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. A little bit of a cliffhanger, starting off the next episode with Mr. Toad's apartment. Um, but, hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in the next episode. Super excited to play. Um, yeah, I'm liking this so far. I hope you guys are liking it too. If you are, let me know by leaving a like. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!